Hello, this is Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover how to use the proxy harvester to automatically save proxies to a file every X minutes while it's testing them. And I'll tell you why that's important. And then I'm going to tell you how to use the automator to always be harvesting proxies and saving them and testing them and saving them to a file so that you always have fresh proxies around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So first, let's look at how to save proxies to a file. So if we go to manage and we go to configuration, in this .39 version of Scrapebox 2.0, there is the option to save past proxies every X seconds to file. So this is every 60 seconds, which is fine. For the sake of this video, you can change it to whatever you want. Obviously, if you wanted to do two minutes, you'd put it at 120 seconds and so on. So let's pick a file here, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it here as past proxies. I'm looking for anonymous proxies for this particular project. Don't really care about Google, but obviously you could turn on Google if you wanted. I'm going to go ahead and skip Google, and I'm going to get, a, get out of this, not going to set any other filters. Um, I'm not going to show you how to add proxy sources in this video. I have an advanced proxy setup guide as well as a basic guide on the proxy manager if you want to watch for more information on the proxy manager this is really just how to get proxies saved to a file so basically if I harvest some proxies here I just have a few sources of my own I've added in here one two and three harvest those get a couple of thousand proxies and now I can go test proxies I'm going to test all proxies and it's set at like 200 connections I think so it's going to run through here so once these 2600 proxies are done it's going to stop because they're all tested but every every 60 seconds now it's going to save the past proxies to a file and that's important because if we go into the harvester like this for instance and we want to start harvesting here and I'm just going to punch in whatever and we do the custom harvester here under proxies I have enable auto load proxies from file and then load after X minutes so I can turn this on and say put it at 10 minutes and so the harvester will reload proxies every 10 minutes now that's important because obviously your proxies can die after so long. So basically I can set this and I can go over here and select my auto load proxy file and go ahead and select that past proxy file and then set it to auto load proxies if I want every like 10 minutes and I'm gonna enable it and load proxies and then I can select how many minutes so anyways I'm gonna do 10. I have how to do this and why this is important in the harvesting video uh, but this is the basic concept and now every time the proxy harvester is running or the regular harvester rather it will keep re reloading that proxy file every 10 minutes and we can go and look at that proxy file and see very quickly that it is being loaded up here with past proxies so the advantage here obviously without having to use the automator or anything is that if you load in 150,000 proxies and go to test them, it might take an hour before those proxies finish, but half the proxies you started with might be dead, the ones that were at the top of the list, an hour later. So obviously this way you can get those proxies, get them saved off, and start using them for a harvesting run, and an hour later you're still getting new proxies constantly being updated. So that is how you can use the regular proxy harvester to auto save proxies to a file. But like I said, with this 2600 proxies here, we can see the threads are dwindling down and it's about to finish up and then it'll stop. What we can do though, is we can set the automator up so where once this round stops, it'll automatically go back to my proxy sources and then harvest proxies again. So let's say I load in 100,000 proxies and it takes four hours, for instance, to test those proxies. Four hours later, those proxy sources may have had updates and got new proxies listed on them. So then the automator is going to go back to those sources, harvest those new sources, whatever the proxies are currently on those sources, and run the tester again continuously. Again, we're saving proxies to file every 60 seconds or whatever we set it up for. So we always have proxy sources harvesting, and then we always have them being saved to file in real time, and then we can have our harvester always auto-updating that file for new proxies. So let's take a look at how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. And I'm going to go in here to the automator. And if you don't have it installed or it's not updated, you want to make sure that you update that. And this is how you would update it. Obviously, install it as well. And this is the same area where you purchase it if you have not done that. So the automator then will show up under premium plugins. And we can drop down here to automator. And then it will just launch. And basically, the automator lets us create a script 
of things to do in Scrapebox in a certain order, and then we can add delays and launch external programs and that sort of thing. Have another separate video on the automator, on all the different functions and concepts, but let's just look at it here. The proxy section is right up here at the top. Obviously, it goes all the way down. There's add-ons and all kinds of stuff, um, but the proxy section here is our proxy options, and when we click on something, it comes over here. So first, let's say harvest proxies, and I'm going to choose, for instance, to harvest sources one, two, and three, and then I'm going to go ahead and append to proxies to existing proxies. Um, that is going to stick it appended to the list that's in the proxy manager if you do that. If you don't do that, which in this case I actually don't want to do that, then it will delete any proxies currently in the proxy manager and just harvest these and test them. And since they're auto being saved to file, that's what I want. So I'm going to harvest my proxies, then I'm going to test my proxies, and then here we get to set up our test settings so we can test against Google, we can remove based on speed, we can remove proxies which didn't pass the Google test or the anonymous test. So I'm going to remove proxies which didn't pass the anonymous test because I'm not testing against Google. I can export anonymous proxies to file, which I can go ahead and do this if I wanted to and just put like all proxies or whatever. I don't really have to do this and I misspelled it, but I don't really have to do this because I'm automatically going to be still exporting every 60 seconds and then I get filters based on country and that sort of thing if I want to do that. Um, I can load proxies too, which can be pretty handy because I can also load in that proxy file, which is probably useful. So I can go here and load in my past proxy file. So all those proxies that got saved from each round, then I can be using them as well. Now, if this is the first round, it's probably not going to do any good. But um, And then, of course, I get the option to save proxies if I want. Um, but I don't really need to do that as far as what we're doing right here. So I'm just going to remove that command. Now I can save my automated file and let's just call it proxies, call it always on proxy tester. And it'll run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So now that I have my job saved, I can go to premium plugins and go back to my, or rather go here to automator pretty nice. I would probably put this in my favorites. I'm going to just add it as a favorite job here. Then whenever I want to do something, I can drop down and go right into favorites and do always on proxy tester. Now what it's going to do is it's going to load my proxy. It pulled 2,500 proxies from those sources. Now it's saving or testing those proxies. And then every 60 seconds, of course, it's still going to save those proxies to my file here, which is the past proxies file. So we'll see that happening here in just a minute once we get 60 seconds in from the test. And then when all of these 2,500 proxies are over, it's going to loop. And I actually forgot to add the loop, so let's stop this and go back here to the automator, which is a good idea. This is a great time to reference that you should double check your automator files and not just assume that you did it correctly. I'm going to load back up my automator file, and I'm going to go down here under miscellaneous and I'm going to add a loop. And you can also add a delay. So let's say you wanted to wait like an hour um, or two hours or once every 12 hours or whatever. I can add a delay if I want, um, but I don't really need to add a delay. So I'm just going to do a loop and then save the automator. Once again, we'll save the file. And now it's going to harvest my proxies, another 2,500. It's going to test them. And so I'll pause the video while it does that. And then I'll come back and then we can also see as this particular file gets updated. So I actually let it loop and I didn't catch it in time and so I just let it loop again. Um, and this round it got 2200 proxies but we'll see the threads are dwindling down over here and what's going to happen is if we move it we can see the window behind here what's going on and as these threads hit zero here and it finishes up it will just loop and then go back to harvesting more proxies and testing them again and constantly updating them. So and it'll do this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you just set it up and let it go. Now, obviously, I only have three proxy sources, and this is just an example. You would probably want to have a lot more sources or maybe some forums or some sources that are dynamic, that change a lot, that get new proxies a lot. Uh, a heavily active forum on page one of proxies might be good, and I show how to do all that in the advanced proxy video. But you could really set this up and have an always-on 
proxy testing machine simply using the automator and always have proxies for your projects and even if you do broken harvester runs like say you harvest for 12 hours and then you come back tomorrow and you want to set up another 30,000 keywords that might only take you know 12 or 13 hours you can leave this automator running 24 hours a day seven days a week and it will always have fresh proxies saved to a file for you so that as soon as you want to harvest any time you just open it up and go and you're already going to have fresh proxies without having to wait on anything and that is how you can use the new feature in scrapebox 2.0 to save proxies to file every x seconds and then you can also use the automator to keep everything going always on always testing and always have fresh proxies using scrapebox and using the automator Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.